Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. No, I've been gone for a while. You know how I do. Gotta disappear here and there. But anyway, we're back with the part number. Like, I think this is five or six. I don't know. You know, I know I can't remember stuff. But we're on to the next part of mixing vocals inside FS Studio. Today we're gonna be looking at reverb. Last video we did delay. Today is reverb. And then we're gonna be getting to them ad libs and then mixing and just, just be done. Come ready to get this over with and do some more stuff. But anyway, uh, if you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, all that at Mr. Different. TV just to help support me out there. I also got a new gaming channel out there. It's called I'm a Black Gamer. It's in the description below. Check it out. Show your support. Anyway, here we go. So now we're inside of FL Studio right here. Today we're going to be looking at reverbs. I'm going to be doing just like I did in the last video. It's going to be using a stock and a third party reverb. Probably two of my favorite. Uh, Pro R by Fad Filter. And then, of course, Fruity Reverb 2. Everybody's favorite reverb out there. There's no comparison to it. So we're going to look at them and show you how to do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get the set. I already got it set up the way I want to. Going to do the same thing that I did with the delay and make it into an alt track. If you don't remember that, I'm just uh, put it in one of the sins over here, one of the inserts. Uh, and I'm going to route it into the reverb. I'm going to pretty much send my vocals into the reverb and, you know, to give it that sheen. I always put my my reverb before my delays because I don't want the, re the delay to um, delay the reverb. I want it to just, you know, give us some spice and all that good stuff. So let's look at this right now. So let's go ahead and play the vocal as we always do. Uh, we're gonna turn the delay off right now. I'm just gonna play the play the vocal. So here we go. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. So y'all remember that. So good. So let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. So let's go ahead and open up Pro R2 because the first one I use. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to uh, basic. So it'd be a clean slate. And then let's go ahead and send some of this vocal into the actual reverb. So just send it up in there. You get my kids in the background yelling as always because my girlfriend not watching them. So gotta get this deal. You gotta get this deal. Y'all know how it is. Real life. Real life dad. Let's go. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. It's like I'm in the goddamn bathroom. Let's solo that. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. We're trying to lay off. So yeah, you can just see it's very big very and very spacious. Now, the main controls of any reverb that I really like to use is the, what you're going to really pay attention to is the space or the decay, because that's going to really determine like, you know, how long the, the reverb is going to be. A short delay gives you a short reverb and a longer decay to say delay decay gives you a longer reverb and a longer tail you know if you want big ambient sounds longer if you want more enclosed kind of bathroom like a whatever yeah there you go um a lot of other characteristics up in here is the brightness which is just make it a darker reverb or a brighter reverb some reverbs has i don't think fst really has that you can kind of darken it up and brighten it up here by cutting some of the lows and the highs so man there's that the character is basically modulation so it kind of adds a chorusing effect to the reverb, which makes it sound a little bit more vintage, kind of smooth sounding. It's very unique. I'll play around with that so you can actually see that, but we'll have it all the way off at first. The distance, of course, is going to be your distance between uh, the wall, I guess, in this case. Um, I guess that'd be the same as, I guess, the dampening. I, don't, I really don't know, but, you know, whatever. And then, you know, the K rate, you know, you can multiply the K rate. And then got the EQ, of course. So, yeah. And then... And they're fucking arguing and yelling and shit. Anyway, and remember when you're doing, when you got your um, reverb on side of a insert or a effects bus, make sure you got the wet turned all the way up to the max. You know that. All right, so let's go ahead and play with. So we'll start with a low decay, and then we're gonna bring it up so you can actually see how it affects the vocal. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Now, it sounds like it's not like in a small little room. It sounds like it's not really got no reverb on it at all. Now, as I start bringing the decay time up, you're going to see it's going to start sounding, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger. So. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Because y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating. Calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. So, you know, there you go right there. So me, when it comes to vocals, I like to have it between either two or three. Usually sounds good for me as, as a decay rate. So. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. 
Cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof. I just don't want it to sound all splashy, sounding all muffled and all that, but we're, we're gonna clean that up in the end, so don't worry about that. So I don't want to sound splashy, so I'm gonna stick with a two uh, second decay time just to kind of, you know, make it sound nice and good. Um, for this instance, I'm probably gonna make it a darker sounding reverb, so let's just around with it. And it moved as always. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed. Damn. Okay, so yeah, darker sounding reverb does sound a lot better in my opinion. Um, let's see what else we can do. We can set the distance so we can play around with it. We can make it either closer or farther away to us. So. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. Okay, that's dope right there. Um, I don't usually mess with anything else at that point. I will show you what the chorusing or modulation will do to it so you can get an example. So if you do decide or you have a reaver that has modulation on it, you can kind of mess around with that as well, so. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's. In this instance, it's very subtle, but if I use like a, uh, in vocals, it's really not much that apparent unless you really crank the reverb. But if you use something like, uh, effects like a synth or lead or something like that, guitar or something like that sound, you can really hear that coursing effect to the reverb and it sounds really nice. Um, I'm just going to leave it at lively, so I'm going to put it 50%, just leave it default. And that's my reverb sense right there. Now, of course, with reverb, one thing about reverb is it's reverbing the whole signal and all frequencies. We want to clean that up just like we did with the delay. Um, so... And here, FabFit does come with a post EQ, so you can do it yourself. But like I said, I'm gonna do it the way I did it in the last one. So I'm gonna get a Pro EQ 2, which will be right here. Go ahead and set, click twice, and get my little high pass, low pass preset right here. I love that. If you don't, you just click right there and it's down right there. And then I'm just gonna cut some of the lows and some of the highs from my reverb. So. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed. Damn, my nigga, you never gonna succeed. You. Let's see, without, without the EQ. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me. You just see how it cleans it up because if you let reverb sit in the low end, it really muffles and muddy stuff up. And I see a lot of guys do that. A lot of people do that. They'll put reverb on a channel or on a plugin or whatever on an effect, and it just like the low end is just like all nasty sound. It sounds muffled. It's hard to hear, and it's got so much energy built up in there because of you know, the low frequency and all that. So I would highly recommend cutting your lows and your highs from your reverb. It makes it sound a little bit smoother. And then, of course, we're going to go back and we're going to blend it in, so. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, because y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. Bringing the music. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, because y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that. So let's see, without reverb. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak. It just gives the sound space and depth and gives it kind of that 3D image right there. It makes it just sound alive. I mean, you know, it just sounds good. I mean, come on, you can't you can't lie. Reverb makes stuff sound good if you do it right. If you don't do it right, reverb can destroy your sounds completely. 
So yeah, that's that right there. And like I said, um, yeah, and let's look at a default reverb, of course, because you know we can do it with a default reverb. So back to the basics as always. So we're gonna click right here, solo it, click that, and let's do it with the fruity reverb too, so you can get the same effect. Cut the reverb off. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Cause so with the fruity delay, re delay, fruity reverb too, I like to bring the size all the way up because I mean, it just sounds good. My decay, if you look in the top corner up here, you'll see where it's actually, you know, telling you the decay time. I set this one to about three because it's that's how I like to work in this one. So, and then make sure your wet's all the way up. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Turn your wet all the way up and then turn down your, turn your wet all the way up, turn your dry all the way down when you're doing it on a bus, remember that. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. Now with Fruity Reverb 2, you can like I said, cut the lows and the highs right in and it does just the same thing as putting a parametric EQ2. So we'll do that to save time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut about four, about 400 hertz. No, let's do about 500 hertz. I always do about four to 500 hertz in the lows and about 10K in the highs. So we'll go to 10K. There we go. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. And then we always got that stereo separation knob that you guys love to use in FL Studio, which I don't really use it, but let's just crank it up anyway. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. So you can make it more mono, a mono reverb or a stereo, more stereo, which I don't like to do that, but you can if you want to. If you want to make it more wider, you can do that, but that will add in phasing issues. So don't do that because it will cancel out sound and sound really bad. So now we just blend it in like always. So we go through and blend it in. And yeah, I'm back up on. And do it with the music, of course, because you know, that's how you know it gets right. Boop, 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 boop. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all. And then of course I would, of course I would go back and tweak it back and forth until I get it just right. But as you can see, it don't matter which reverb you use, they both sound really, really good. So, I mean, even a stop reverb can sound amazing. Like, so I'll go back between both of them real quick for you so you can hear the difference. So, this is no reverb. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice, y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed. Damn, my nigga, you never gonna succeed. You might make a little money here one time. <laughs> my nigga, you calling that a grind? Not me, but y'all not compared to me. I'm trying to do this music. As you can see, either way it goes, they both have their own characteristics. And that's one thing I like about reverb plugins. They can all sound different depending on which one you use. These are algorithmic reverbs, so they're the basic kind of reverbs. But there are, of course, um, uh, what's it called? God damn, impulse response reverbs or convolution reverbs that, you know, can do that. I don't really use them because I like the control of these type of reverbs. But, yeah, you can definitely use convolution reverbs just like Seven of Heaven, uh, the Slate Digital one, and the, even the Fruity com the fruity Converser or conv Converser, that's called? Convoluter, Converser. That's a convolution reverb as well, and that can do the same thing. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, after that, you just pick your reverb, play around with it, dial it. Just be careful of make not make too put blah, blah. Be careful not to make too much reverb on it because you will get some phasing issues and you'll muddy up your mix and be careful with the stereo separation and all that. And just do it to taste. You know, uh, like I say, reverb can be very subtle or it can be really ambient and kind of dreamlike sounding in the end of the day. So just play around with it and make sure it fits your beat. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Like always, you know, another video. I said, I'm trying to wrap this up as soon as I can so I get some different type of videos for you guys. But, you know, you guys like to see this type of stuff, so I like to do it for you guys. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoy, like always, y'all know who it is. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. 
aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money. But like, comment, subscribe, and views. If you like this video, like it, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you'll be notified when I go notified, notified when I go live and all that good stuff right away. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.